Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing safe. So about three weeks ago, uh, Mobile World Congress Realme introduced a phone with 240 watt fast charging capabilities. I actually tested the phone and did a real time charging test right here if you want to check it out. But a couple of hours after Realme's announcement, Xiaomi announced that they have a 300 watt fast charging prototype. Now the catch is that's only a prototype, it's not ready for release yet, but Xiaomi's showing that it is working and it could be coming soon. So this is what happens when a lot of brands are releasing products in the same category. They're competing and trying to one-up each other. But before Xiaomi can one-up Realme, another Chinese brand named Infinix has already done it. So this is Infinix's new fast charging solution. As you can see from the box, it charges at 260 watt speeds via the cable and also wirelessly charge at 110 watt speeds. Now this charging solution will be released with an upcoming phone by Infinix, but right now for the sake of testing, Infinix has sent me a prototype device. Well, it's not a prototype, it's an existing phone modified to handle this fast charging technology. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a real time charging test on camera, just like I did with the Realme device. Now Infinix, if you haven't heard of them before, they are a Chinese company and it's actually a sister brand of Techno. And Infinix, just like Techno, have previously sold its products almost exclusively just in Africa and other developing markets. Like it doesn't even sell in its own native country of China. So that's why most people haven't heard of Infinix. But just like Techno, Infinix is now trying to make it a bigger global splash. And Techno did that recently with an awesome folding phone that costs like under 1,000 US dollars. I also made a video on that here if you want to check that out. And for Infinix, they're offering the world's fastest charging. So anyway, let's begin the charging test. So as you can see, the phone has no battery right now. I purposely drained the battery yesterday. So I'm pressing on the power button and... Okay, so you see the phone booted up and immediately shut off because it had no more battery inside. Okay, so I'm gonna plug in the charger to my apartment to home brick. Oh, and this is a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. And I'm gonna plug in the phone and start the timer on my Z Fold 4. Plug it in now, hit start on the timer. So it is charging and the timer is running. So remember, this thing is at basically 0%. So I'm gonna check what the percentage is at about the two minute mark. But the thing with lithium ion batteries is that they actually charge the fastest in the middle portion. So that's usually in the 40% to 80, 90% section. That's when it charges the fastest. At the beginning of the charge, the first 20, 30%, and the final 10%, the charging tends to slow down. So that means we're not gonna see the maximum speed right now in just two minutes because it'll just be the first you know, 20% of the charge. When it hits the middle cycle, I would say about five minutes in, that's when the battery would be charging at its maximum peak speed. Okay, so we just passed the two minute and 10 second mark. Let's see what the battery percentage is. It is at 39%. It went from zero to 39% in two minutes and 10 seconds. So I'm gonna check again at the three minute mark. We're nine seconds away. The three minute mark, 50%, 51%. All right, let me boot up the phone. And, and the phone is not, it's not hot. It's warm, but it's not super hot. It's not uncomfortably hot. You see, I can put it on my hand. Like, see, I can put it to my face. If it was super hot, I wouldn't be able to do this. Okay, so battery is at 56% right now. So I think booting up actually slowed down the charge a little bit because I think it would have kept going at, at crazy speeds. So see, the phone looks pretty good, right? With a 6.8 inch, 120 hertz OLED display. Okay, we've just passed the five minute mark and the battery is at 69% right now. Well, 70%. So basically, it charges faster than I can talk. Like by the time I finish with the sentence, it's probably gonna be like 71%, 72%. So I'm gonna wait till it hits the six minute mark and unplug and then do a wireless charging test. So I'm gonna stop, unplug. Battery is at 77%. 
So it went from zero to 77 in six minutes. Now let's do a wireless charging test. Okay, now I'm gonna put the phone on a charger and then I'm gonna, so I'm gonna reset the timer. I'm gonna put this phone on, remember that's 77% right now. So it's wirelessly charging. Okay, it's been about a minute on a wireless charger. We're at 81%, so wirelessly it charged for 4% in one minute. Okay, we're almost at the two minute mark. And we see battery is at 88%. Okay, so we just passed the three minute mark. I'm gonna take off the phone. And battery is at 92%, 92% battery. So just for reference again, this thing went from zero to 77% in six minutes, and then 77% to 92% in three minutes on the wireless charger. So that's about it for this video because this is a prototype device that Infinix built specifically to test this fast charging. This fast charging solution is actually gonna be coming out later officially with a Nix device that Infinix is releasing. When that device comes out, I'll probably do a video on it. Let me know if you want me to review it or do another battery test or whatever you want me to do. In the meantime, I just want to say that that's what I mean by when brands compete, we win. Like a lot of you guys may say this fast charging is unnecessary. Who needs charging that fast? And I agree that on a day-to-day -day basis, you don't need to charge this fast, but there are always emergency situations, right? Like when you need to go out for the day and you realize you forgot to charge your phone and it's at like 2% battery. So I do think it definitely comes in handy in emergencies. So that's about it for this video. I'm gonna have a lot more content coming up. So please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It will help me a lot. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.